This is Goku Fievel with fantastic update news on the state of anime and anime companies. As you know, about a little over a month ago, I did a video response or a video on the breaking news that Navare was going to sell Funimation and that there was rumors on the internet that Disney was one of the buyers. Naturally, I freaked. What stunned me was just by how much... People disagreed with me on that. A lot of people were like, well, the Disney wouldn't be so bad. I mean, they didn't totally dismantle X-Men and Marvel and whatnot. And besides, uh, maybe if Disney owned Funimation, that'd be a bigger audience and whatnot. Yeah, I can see the upside, but, you know, it's just kind of the purest thing. Or that's the one area I am kind of an anime purist on. And I'm not that much of a purist in any, anywhere else. But that's beside the point. That did not end up happening. So, for a long time, we were wondering who was going to buy Funimation. Well, uh -huh. on April 4th, and this is almost breaking news, Funimation has been sold <laughs> to itself, pretty much. All right, here's the official uh, from Navare. Navare has sold Funimation Entertainment for $24 million, or should I say, Twenty-four million dollars, all in a full cash transaction. Full cash. If only I won the lottery, I could have bought that. Twenty-four million dollars for an anime studio? Hell yeah! Oh, if only I was a millionaire. Purchasers from the transaction are a group of entities that were newly formed by an investment group that includes Gen Fukunaga. Funimation Entertainment's chief executive officer as one of the minority stakeholders. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Gen Fukunaga. Why does that name sound familiar? Yes, that would be the guy who runs Funimation and one of the guys who brought us Dragon Ball Z. And Gen Fukunaga is actually related to someone who actually worked on Dragon Ball Z in Japan. Now, I kept saying to myself, and I'm pretty sure I said this in the last video, I just said, I just can't see Gen letting his company go, because he's the one who started Funimation. It looks like, thankfully, I was right. I knew he wouldn't let uh, Funimation go. Gen Fukunaga bought Funimation from Navare. Basically, here's the news. Funimation basically bought itself. It is now totally somewhat independent from Navare. It was bought... Sadly, by a group of lawyers and investors. <laughs> okay. However, th this transaction is a major step forward in the company's ongoing strategy to focus on the expansion of revenue and distribution of new line products. Further development has been added to its services and hopefully continues to grow to, to fulfill consumer services. This strategy has already resulted in a re significant reduction to debt and has improved operating margins by leveraging the company's significant distribution and logistics expertise in considerable system and physical assets. There's more good news. Navare, which is the parent company of Funimation, or used to be the parent company of Funimation, has announced that they are officially debt-free! Celebrate! Yeah! Take that, Congress! Navare has survived the recession. They have officially survived the recession, and they are now completely and totally debt-free. So we got great news on both sides. Now, there is a downside. Funimation was originally worth, like, a hundred million dollars. So for it being bought by for twenty-four million dollars, that is kind of worrisome, especially since they're kind of on their own with that money. So if there was ever time to buy DVDs and whatnot from Funimation and buy anime, that time is now. So I know this is all a little confusing. Okay, so who bought what? What? But, but, all right. Let me give an example. Have any of you guys seen these? These KFC A and Ws or these KFC Long John Silvers? They're all owned by the Yum Corporation, but at the same time, they're separate restaurants, but they're in the same building. Now, this actually happened in my area. We have a lot of KFC A&Ws, 
the thing is, everybody goes there just for KFC. Very few people go there for A and W. So basically, Funimation was A and W, and Navarro was the KFC. And A and W was kind of being a weight on KFC, like Funimation was kind of being a weight on Navarre. So that's like A and W and KFC going back to being their own separate restaurants. Now, here's the good news. This doesn't mean Navarre is totally not going to do business with Funimation, nor Funimation do business with Navarre. This means that they're separate, but they're still partners. Looking forward, Funimation is still going to do exclusive business with Navarre. So this doesn't mean that business with Navarre and Funimation is done permanently. In other words, Funimation is still going to sell their stuff to Navarre exclusively. Navarre will still get first dibs on, you know, Dragon Ball stuff, Sailor Moon if that ever happens. And no, there's I didn't see anything about Sailor Moon on here. The high cost of this transaction was that Gen Fukunaga, who was the CEO of Navarre, had to step down as the CEO of Navarre and retake over his position as CEO of Funimation. So immediately after Gen Fukunaga quit as CEO of Navarre and became CEO of Funimation once again, Reed Porter became interim CEO of Navarre just two days later. So there's been some major split up and some breakups, but to me this looks like it was a nice little duo dance that may work out perfectly for us the fans. So again, what does this mean for us the fans? Well, this means obviously Funimation didn't get sold to Disney, it didn't get clobbered, it's not bankrupt. Both companies appear to be for now debt free, but Funimation is just on twenty four million dollars. There's a lot of box office movies that, you know, don't even get produced for that much or for that little. So Funimation, it's a little bit out of it on its own. It still has Navari to rely on and back up on. The thing is this, if there was a, was a time to uh, support them, that time is now. Just wanted to give a big update. I think this is great news. And I found this out just a day after it happened. I know Mars Girl has already talked about it on thatguyoftheglasses.com, but I kind of found out about this first.